Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. I am going to ask you to suspend disbelief. And for those of you who are newer guests, do not be terrified. We do not, as a habitude, ask speakers to go into fantasy land and tell a story skit style. But that is what I would be doing. Normally, you would just be giving a speech. Today, in a few seconds, you are all teddy bears or dolls in my room. I will be looking to you for assistance when I hear scary noises. You may not hear them, teddies, because I have a vivid imagination. You may not hear them at all. So don't judge me because you're hearing absolutely nothing from my eight-year-old mind. I brought Alice, who does indeed still sit on my bed. She is my favorite. But you didn't hear that. <gasps> Did you hear that? Ricky? Kathleen? Is that you? Is it a ghost? Is it a goblin? I'm not exactly sure I would know what a goblin looked like, but maybe. Kathleen is my sister. She snores. I think I hear her snoring right now. Maybe that was the sound I heard. Ricky's my big brother. He lives on the other side of the house. We have an enormous house. It's a thousand square feet. <laughs> there could be monsters and ghosts anywhere because tomorrow is Halloween. <gasps> Did you hear that? Wait. I think that was my big brother, Rick. I think he's going to the bathroom. Yeah, I hear him with my dog. That's Perdita. Well, I guess it's more his dog. I have to share a room with my sister. We have always shared a room. Always. She sleeps up there. She snores. I sleep down here. I'm a good one. <laughs> Ricky gets to sleep with Perdita, the dog. She snores too. But you can pat her and rub her on her belly, and she'll stop. Besides, I think if there was a ghost or a monster in the room, she might bark and create quite a ruckus. That makes me think dogs might be better roommates than sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, come on. That was terrifying. Mom and Dad made us watch a scary show again. We had to watch The Twilight Zone with Rod Serling last night. It was Chatty Cathy. Well, not Chatty Cathy, because I have Chatty Cathy. But it made me think of Chatty Cathy, so it's my own Chatty Cathy guy got up for Christmas is scaring the dickens out of me. The show was called Talking Tina. <coughs> Talking Tina started off just like my Chatty Cathy, blonde and blue-eyed with a pretty prim dress. She was just wonderful. And you pulled her plastic string ringy thing and it activated her little voice box and she said hi my name is talking tina and i love you just like chatty kathy and then later on in the show she, you pulled her string and she didn't say anything at all by herself she said hi my name is talking tina and i'm gonna kill you <laughs> And she did. She murdered family. It was a 
this moment I realized my tatty Kathy had indeed become alive. Maybe I wasn't as nice to her as I am to Alice. So I put her gently in my nicest blanket and I wrapped her warmly and I gave her a kiss and I put her in a basket and I placed her in the closet next to Danny O'Day, the ventriloquist doll, who uh -huh. has scary eyes. Mm -hmm. And I shut the closet door tightly, but gently, to not make her any more angry. She's in there now with the doll, <laughs> the ventriloquist doll, with the scary eyes. <sighs> okay, okay. Did you, did you hear that? I, the closet door just moved. It just opened just a crack. My mom told us that scary things can happen at Halloween. And then she said that we had to get in the spirit, and she did that with her fingers. And then she said, we're getting in the spirit of Halloween. <laughs> and then she went, ah, ha, 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 which sounded just like our neighbor, Lolly McFall, that my mom calls a witch or something like that. <laughs> but she has this terrible long screwy hair, Lolly McFall does, and she does laugh like that. I think she might be a witch. Okay. The door is definitely open. Alice, we have to be brave. We're going to take a Tootsie Roll and give it to Chatty Cathy. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs>